Welcome back, guys. <laughs> Hi, everybody. <laughs> How you all doing tonight? <laughs> How y'all do? But and we don't have dick the giant butt? sunglasses. What? I said kicking butt, oh, but dick wow. butt is a thing if you've ever been. <laughs> dick <laughs> butt is a thing. <laughs> oh, dick butt. Oh, hey, uh, hey, I think that bird uh, wants to fight. Uh, <laughs> that bird's like, ah. <laughs> that bird's like, bro, I'm uh, coming. Fly out again. <laughs> <laughs> It wasn't caused by rain. The current is odd considering the water level. I have a bad feeling about this. You should evacuate. Finally, someone who's talking some sense. Who are you? All right, do as Saray suggests. Saray? You can't possibly mean the Shepherd. If he is, maybe he can stop the floods. You really think there's anything that can stop the Water Spirit's rampage? Water Spirit? It's terrible. Destroyed the bridge in an instant. It's some sort of... monster! Silence! Enough with your nonsense! So to them, they only see this, oh. but we see what it actually is. Which is Leviathan from Final Fantasy. <laughs> or just a snake. Oh, that's kind of... alright, I mean... I can't remember if they do consider... I don't think they consider this a dragon. I think they consider it a drake. Something along those lines, at least. How come I still have any cool arts yet? Uh, you gotta unlock them, man. I don't know how to. So, so, by the way, if you haven't noticed, we returned the sunglasses back to normal because it was silly and funny, but we don't want it to be too distracting. Yeah, we're easily distracted. Not too distracting. They're still there. You know. They're, I, oh, yeah, but I they're like more cosmetic them. now. Hey, man, you don't introduce something like a costume in a game like this and not expect Am I getting to both always have them. I'm so good. I'm also not hitting anything. No, you're hitting him. We got it. So the key with battle in, in the in pretty much all the Tales games, as far as I've played, is you gotta like combo things or combo the uh, monsters so that you're they're pretty much constantly stunned. Right. Um, and it's a lot harder to pull off in this game because of the SC system, um, where you can't just like keep spamming normally. Right. Because eventually you run out. Because I think I've run out a couple times. Exactly. Oh boy, I really could use some yeah, healing. Yeah. Hey, Joe. Yeah, I kind of figured, but I. Ooh, uh, why go. am I not coming closer to you? What happened? You gotta push forward on the thumbstick. I'm gonna get used to this, I promise. It comes with practice. It Honestly, I, it took me a little bit to, uh... Oh boy, damn it, Chris. I know, I'm not doing so hot. I'm gonna free roam. There we go. Oh, so much easier to dodge. That's the thing about free roaming is, while you sacrifice accuracy, it's becomes so much more difficult for enemies to actually hit you if you're free roaming. That's why I really, really like the, the just constant free roam um, battle action. Dude, Alicia's badass. She really is an awesome character. Dude, she is powerful. Uh... Yeah, I, I have to wonder too, I haven't gotten a chance to play any of the other characters in, in my personal playthrough, and I, I wonder I if I do like they, doing that every so often, it is fun. Yeah, I, I want to know if they play much differently than Saray, because he's very fast-paced and, um, I mean, has probably medium range, but I mean, Alicia has a... Long range. She should have long range, right? Um, but is she's, do you think she's slower? A little bit. She's definitely slower. You, like, and I feel like I'm spamming a little bit more, so I'm running out of my SC a lot faster. That's fair. Well, things considered, um, we still did decent. I think the key for earning a lot art. of New art. We all learned a new art. Yes. Yay! I think one of the, the keys to getting great is to not use items. We haven't really been using items. No, it, I generally... What are items? I, I generally avoid using items. I save them for pretty much just oh. the boss battles that I have a hard time yeah, with. Yeah, right. Ooh. Hellions that are strong enough to manifest themselves are those that were once Seraphim. A Seraph can become a Hellion? 
and Seraphim that have completely turned into Hellions are known as... Dragons. Dragons? Those really exist? So, then the legends were true. Uh... So the wrecking of the bridge was all... all my fault. I'm so ashamed. If you hadn't been here to purify me, I don't know what would have happened. Thank you. I'm really glad that we were able to save you. Um... I am Uno, young shepherd. Saray. Uno, in exchange for saving you, we would like to ask you a favor. Would you be willing to listen? Hmm? I would ask you to bless Lady Lake. But as things currently stand in that town... Lady Alicia, are you all right? I'm fine. The water spout has disappeared. See, I told you she'd be fine. Nothing can hurt our princess when she's got the shepherd at her side. Weren't you the one shaking at his boots earlier? Still, the rain has suddenly stopped, and the currents have come significantly. This, too, must be the power of the Shepherd. I always thought it was just a fairy tale. To think I'd see the friggin' Shepherd with my own eyes. Hey! Watch your language in front of the Shepherd. It looked to me like, like the Shepherd just cut right through the water spout. I doubt anyone will believe me, though. Who cares? I'd rather believe in the miracles of the Shepherd. Friggin' water spirit can kiss my hairy butt! Hey, what happened to watching your language? <sighs> so there are still people here who believe. Well, you did help me get back to my old self. Then can you help? I shall become the lord of the land for the domain of Lady Lake. I wouldn't trust you. You know, that was kind of my first impression by it too, but all things considered, we just saved him. He has kind of a... We, probably he feels guilty for what he did. And him and Lila will probably have some kind of deal so she can really fuck us over. And well, the other thing too is that what's the best way to prevent him from becoming a Hellion again? You just make him a lord. Give him a responsibility that he won't want to um, to, to screw up. up. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, honestly, it feels like <coughs> we're being a, a little too trusting for something that was just a monster. Right, but at the same time, you make a good point. It's like, sometimes you trust the people that... Because you know, he understands. He understands what he became. Right, exactly. And, and that kind of fits along the theme of the game, too, which um, is... I think this is going to keep popping up as we play yeah, through. Yeah, it feels like it. It definitely feels like it. But now we get to see what the uh, the Lord of the Land does, which is oh. actually kind of cool. Um, which I haven't gotten to experiment with too much in my personal playthrough, but uh, it makes roaming around and, and <coughs> kind of exploring areas that we've already been in a lot more fun. Oh yeah, that's cool. I don't know if we need to do anything. Maybe it's already functioning. I couldn't tell you because I wouldn't know the difference. Yeah, I was having a very big flashback just now. Oh? <laughs> it was during Titan Souls. <laughs> we were on the last, like, very difficult boss. Oh. And, uh... Oh, oh. Mm. Also, there's something I kind of wanted to ask you. Yeah, I know. You want to ask if this staff looks like it's floating in midair to humans. Is that it? How do you know? One look in your eyes says it all. Even if it's an item that humans can see, when Seraphim infuse mana into it, it will become unrecognizable by humans. The opposite is true as well. Anything made by a Seraph can be recognized by humans if mana gets infused in that item. Although, it's kind of a rare ability. So Gramps' pipe is like that? Quite perceptive of you. In fact, Gramps told you everything you just told me, didn't he? That's also quite perceptive of you. I like how Mikleo is basically like, oh, sorry, your brain is so little and dumb. 
I mean, that's generally what the smart character in these series tend to be. Like, right. right. Right, like when you see Genus or like... Uh, yeah, yeah. I, uh, personally, I like <coughs> Genus a lot, though. Oh, dude, no, Genus is one of my favorite characters. Genus? He's great. I'm kidding. Although, um. I, I do find it interesting that they talk about mana or mana, as he said it, um, mm-hmm. because... He, I mean, he uses SP just like everyone else uses art. Right, it's not like... Um, I mean, it's more of a plot thing at that point. R- right, exactly. Right. Um, I guess to get a little thick in the um, screens if there was like a, a separate mana tab- table. Oh, wait, well, then it would just be confusing gameplay wise. Right. Um, but like, that is wow. interesting, though, because then that means that mana is purely a, uh, a seraphim thing. Um, yeah. Humans can't be magic casters, I guess. Yeah. And I guess uh, yeah. next time we'll find out what our little friend has to say. Oh, yeah. Cool. Well, thank you for watching, everybody, and we'll see you in the uh, archives for the next episode. Boy. Um, No, I, for some reason I had the thought of us playing in t- Titan Souls, and uh, my method of coping with the rage was angrily singing. So I just randomly remembered, Do you want to be in a And then Nathan going, Is that Green Day? <laughs> <laughs>